Good morning children. Now you know about fraction addition and also fraction subtraction. Let us see what is multiplication of fraction. First we will see fraction multiplication by a whole number. We know multiplication is repetitive addition. So in case of fraction what is 3 times 1 fourth? It is 3 multiplied by 1 by 4 and if we see addition adding 1 by 4 3 times then 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 and it is equal to 3 by 4 so what do we see 3 times 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 so in case of fraction multiplication by a whole number the whole number gets multiplied by the numerator of the fraction here 3 which is a whole number got multiplied by the numerator which is 1 and we got the answer as 3 by 4. So what is the use of fraction multiplication in real life? Suppose we have 9 oranges and we need to find what is one third of 9 oranges. Here we are doing multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. So 1 by 3 multiplied by 9. We already know the whole number gets multiplied by the numerator. And if we reduce this further, what do we get? 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 ones are 3. So we get the answer as 1 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 3. So what do we get? We understood that 1 third of 9 is 3. Look here, just 3 oranges when we find 1 third of 9. Suppose there are a dozen of apples and we need to find what is 3 fourth of a dozen. What do we do now? We need to find 3 fourth of 12 as 1 dozen means 12. Here since the whole number is multiplied by the numerator we can write it as 3 multiplied by 12 divided by 4. Now this can be simplified as we can divide 4 and 12 by 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So the answer is 3 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 9. So using the multiplication of a fraction by the whole number we figured out that 3 fourth of 12 is 9. Taking another example what is 3 fifth of 50 rupees? Here again we need to multiply the fraction 3 by 5 by a whole number which is 50. So it is equal to 3 by 5 multiplied by 50 and we know the 50 is multiplied by the numerator as it is a whole number. Now reducing the fraction 5 tens are 50 so this get reduced to 3 into 10 which is equal to 30. So we can say 3 fifth of 50 is equal to 30 rupees. Understood? So remember 
when we have a fraction multiplied by a whole number then we have numerator by the denominator multiplied by whole number which is equal to numerator multiplied by the whole number and divided by the denominator so this was multiplication of a fraction by a whole number let's take another example we know fraction multiplication by a whole number means numerator is multiplied by the whole number divided by the denominator so in case we need to find what is one third of 30 we multiply 1 by 3 by 30 and 30 gets multiplied by the numerator of this fraction so 1 by 3 of 30 is equal to 1 multiplied by 30 divided by 3 and reducing it we get the answer as 3 ones are 3 and 3 tens are 30 which is equal to 1 into 10 and the answer is equal to 10 by 1 which is f equal to 10 so 1 third of 30 is equal to 10 so now you know how to multiply a fraction by a whole number that's all for now bye bye children